say that's what everybody say so i'll be like trying to find my own thing but you know you watch enough youtube videos and you start like saying what everybody else say but hey guys i'm so 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 happy to be back recording and i'm getting ready for the new year as you can see no i'm just playing um i was bored and i'm just trying to do makeup i'm learning i'm learning and i was like hey let me come and do this video yes i am here with my reflection questions for 2016 um we have less than a week um, before this year is over and I just want to come and you know answer these questions let you know how my year went it was a crazy year for me but we're gonna talk about it a little bit more stay tuned all right the first question um what was the single best thing that happened this past year so this year um i got to go on my first cruise um i went on a cruise to mexico I, i'm from california and to some people that's like right around the corner but to me like that was the first experience i've been outside the country um that was my first time on a major trip in a long time so i had a phenomenal time on the cruise it was a three-day cruise we left from long beach and we went to where do we go ensenada we went to ensenada and it was a group of us and it was just it was one of those times where everything just happened it was like we had so much fun the food the people um it was so carefree and then the day that we were in mexico and in Sonata, we got on atvs and we were just riding around it was just like a great time it was just one of the best times that that happened this year what was the single most challenging thing that happened um the most challenging thing for me was dealing with depression um in some sort i'm not going to own up to having depression just yet but i was um in a situation where um, i had to go back home with mom and i had been with my <clears throat> living with my mom for a minute um didn't have a steady place of my own for me and my daughter and my boyfriend we couldn't cohabitate together so that was really frustrating um and so it was like stuff that we just had to deal with that i didn't want to deal with um but you know it, it's part of life it's stuff that you got to deal with was an unexpected obstacle um an unexpected obstacle was communicating with my mate my boyfriend um this year for both of us because of one factor being a living situation um we had a hard time coming together it was a lot of arguments a lot of fights um this year amongst us we still together and we still holding it down but it's just like this was a time where like it just it was a lot of confrontation a lot of friction but i don't know i guess that's our test so we can go through the testimony have a testimony pick three words to describe 2016 stressful um eye opener and I have to say, um, challenging. Um, and I say those because of what's been going on in the world um, as far as politics. I don't even want to talk about that. Um, all of what's going on in the world. It seems like we're living in the age where, um, you know, you hear about it in books or you read about it, about, you know, the riots and all that the black panthers and all that and i just feel like we're reliving that part of history now and to live it to go through it is is something that is, is crazy I'm, I'm living in this time and it's just like whoa like you hear about it you read about it but to happen to live in it is just totally different and in every way i'm affected by everything that's happening in the world whether it be directly or indirectly and it's just, it, it does, it's taking a toll on, you know, everything. 
so that that is real like i said an eye opener for me it, was, it really is what was your biggest personal change from january to december of the past year so my biggest personal change um i would have to say is school i thought about it and i was thinking about it and i was like i'm in a position where do i need to go back to school do i want to go back to school is it for me um and i did make the decision it took me all year to to come to this decision and everything fell into place to go back to school um to get my bachelor's degree um in child development um and right now i'm at a position where i'm looking towards owning my own business like i'm really thinking about finances and um where i want to stay permanently as far as where i want to live and so that this time really helped me make sure that whatever decision i make it'd be a good one that i plant the seed and i follow through and i can't you know second guess myself um in any way because i can't afford to whatever i go and that's how i have to do it you know i'm gonna walk on faith that there's no you know setbacks but i know every setback is a setup for a blessing so even then i'm still taking it with stride in what ways did you grow emotionally emotionally i feel like this year was just off the rocker for me i just i felt like i knew what was going on in my life and then it just didn't happen like that i was like okay i'm gonna plan it out and it just wouldn't happen the way i know i don't know it just didn't come easily so now i'm like okay well what do i do maybe it's not for me to do certain things and it's for me to do other things um so it was, it was a very emotional year, um, a lot of crying, I had weight gain, I lost my hair, I distanced myself from people who I know have my back, and it's not for any particular reason, I'm just on the quest to like better myself, um, and I know those people can help too, but it was just like, I had to really stop what I'm doing and, and go under a rock and find myself again so that I can you know share myself with the world um in what ways did you grow spiritually i feel like i've grown spiritually um i've never i believe in god um and i know he never left my side throughout anything but the devil is always busy at work and that's the one thing like the devil got in my head and just that doubt and that those negative things that i was feeding myself and i was just like no like i gotta get back to being positive and being me and you know getting stuff done as far as just wallowing in my self-pity like that wasn't an option so i know um i'm in the process of looking for a church home um and i'm just just th doing that and staying prayed up you know whether i'm in a church whether i'm not in a church um that's the one thing i'm i'm gaining from this what ways did you grow physically <laughs> i blew up no um uh, i I don't know my weight fluctuates and I feel like at some point I wasn't even worried about working out worried about I don't know I'll just let myself go as far as like I'm not big to some but I'm big to me and when I look in a mirror and or if I take a picture even now I'm like who is that like is that me like I don't know I mean I'm not gonna not change but there's some change that you want to be you can tolerate and some that you can and for me it was just me just getting my stamina back up and feeling good about myself doing my hair trying on different makeup trying on different clothes different earrings and and just helping people i don't know it was, it was just i was down in the dumps where i didn't care about anything i didn't care about how i looked i didn't care about if my hair was cold my hair fell out i was just like well I'm not gonna put no grief in any way i'm gonna cut it all off like you know i didn't know my self-worth i feel like what was the most enjoyable part of your work both professionally and at home at my job where i currently work um i'm i love my boss i love my boss because she's able to let me i work at a daycare center uh, a preschool and 
um she's let me she's able to hear me out being open-minded and i'm open-minded and let me express myself through my personality and through what i know the knowledge i have in background field and child development and i feel like that makes all the difference in the world um because it, re it reflects in my staff that i work with the kids are happier because they get not that interaction i get to actually see um and observe and see what they know and you know it's just a very fun atmosphere at work and at home i feel like youtube is my life it's going to be my life i, I feel like I, I was trying it and then i didn't want to do it and i tried a little bit more and i didn't want to do it but i i feel like this platform even if i don't care if nobody watches it's, it's great to just express myself and just get myself out there and it's like talking to the mirror but then you talk to somebody else and they talk back and you know you got messages and it's a network of people because somebody could be going through the same thing that you're going through or they may not know you know how to fix their situation so they have other opinions and other ways to try and error so i, I love youtube as a platform i feel like now um it's like a university you can learn anything from youtube you can try anything from youtube I just want to say that I want to wish everyone a prosperous, happy, blessed new year. Um, 2017, we don't know what's in store, um, but, you know, we're going to ride the wave like we've been riding it. Um, and, and just remain hopeful throughout everything. I thank you for watching this. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful year as well. Thank you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Hey.